Just think about it. We love ourselves, right? But when it comes to opinions, we value other people's opinions more than ours. But why is that? We change everything what other people might say about us to the point where we even change our personality. We change the things that we do on a day to day basis just thinking what other people might think about us. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the best things to do to stop caring what others think about you. Number one, identify what things that you should care about. So there are things in our lives that we have to care about, right? Like our family members, our friends, like the closest people in our lives. We have to care about them. Not only we care about them, but also their opinions just because they love us. They're not going to hurt us. They're not going to think bad things about us. So because of that their opinions has to matter more than anything else here not only people but also things your goals your passions things that you're doing your future you have to care about that so remember in order to stop caring you have to have things you need to have things that you actually care about so the point of this advice is that you have things that you care about and you have things that you don't care about. So the things that you care about are like your family members, those people's opinions about you, your closest friends, your closest people, the people that really care about you. Also your goals, you have to care about your goals. You have to care about your future. You need to work on that. But on the things that like that don't matter, random people's opinions, things that don't matter, things that are not aligned with your goal, things that are not aligned with your passions and the things that you're working on, just don't care about them. You have things that you care about, dial down your focus on them. Focus on those things and then the other things, random people's opinions, unnecessary activities, don't care about them. Don't give them any mind, don't give them attention, focus on those things that you have to care about. Number two, make it a habit to zoom out. Why do we care too much? Because we think a lot of people are judging us. A lot of people are just watching us on a daily -day basis. But if you zoom out, if you see things from a higher perspective, what's gonna happen is you're just gonna see there are billions of people in this world. It is so true, man, like every single day, just watch your thoughts. You know, you're caring what others might think. From the moment you wear your clothes, you're thinking about other people because you think a lot of people are just watching you. But if you see it, on a day to day basis, in average, maximum 50 or 100 people can look at you. And that is maximum. But when you zoom out, you just see there are a lot of people, billions of people in this world. So in perspective, these people are just insignificant. The Stoics call this a view from above, like as if you're just viewing things from the top of the universe. When you do that, as I told you, there are billions of people. So, you know, opinions of five, six, seven people won't matter in perspective of billions of people. So that's gonna help you to care less. That's gonna help you to just loosen up everything because you know, if someone doesn't like you, there are billions of people that could like you. If someone doesn't like your idea, doesn't like your outfit, there are billions of people in this world that could like you, that could like your outfits, that could like your personality. Third one, develop a strong sense of self. So what does this mean, having a strong sense of self? This means just knowing yourself really well, being confident, trusting yourself, knowing yourself more than anyone else, being one with yourself. This is basically knowing yourself well, really trusting yourself, being confident about yourself. So this is what's gonna happen when you really know yourself well. One, you're gonna be one with yourself. You're gonna trust yourself to the point where whatever you're thinking, you're gonna eliminate the negative thoughts. There won't be a fight within you. You know, sometimes we love to put ourselves down, right? There's negative thoughts. We fight with ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Why am I thinking about this? Why am I thinking about that? Do I look good? Do I look bad? Like these are just chaos in our mind. But if you can be one with yourself, if you have developed a strong sense of self, you're not gonna care what other people think because you're one with yourself. You really respect yourself. You don't need other people's opinions about you. But how can you be one with yourself? How can you be confident? So the best thing to do is to start journaling. I want you to write down your feelings, your thoughts at any given moment and always study yourself. All right, this is my weakness. This is my strengths. On your strengths, just circle on them. You're like, you know what? I'm strong on this one. I gotta appreciate myself. I gotta love myself more in this one. Maybe it is your work ethic. Appreciate yourself. Say that like, you know what? I'm a hard worker. I'm relentless with my work. I gotta appreciate myself. I gotta tag myself for the things that I've built. And on your weaknesses, I want you to write them down briefly and work on them. I want you to work on them. I want you to tackle them. I want you to go to perfection, even though sometimes we're not gonna be perfect, but always try to be the best version of yourself. Try to consistently improve yourself. So now you really know yourself well. You're confident, you trust yourself, you know your strengths and weaknesses. You're your best friend. So when people say something about you, you think you're gonna care? You're not gonna care. You're not gonna overthink about other people's opinions. If you don't like something about you, like if it is your weakness, change it, work on yourself. If you don't like your body, work out. Focus on your diet, lose some body fat. If you don't like your social skills, work on your social skills, work on your communication skills. That way you're gonna change your personality and you're gonna become one with yourself. You're gonna love yourself really well to the point where, underline on this, to the point where you don't even think about other people's opinions about you. Those opinions won't matter. Only your opinion matters more than anyone else around you. Number four, realize that everyone is caring about other people's opinions. Most of the times people are caring what other people think about them. So it's like, I care about you and you care about my opinion about you. A lot of people are just caring about other people's opinions. So just relax, chill. A lot of people are overlooking themselves. They're not even focusing on you 
in the first place. Number five, always reflect on your impressions. Always when you're overthinking, trying to please other people, caring about other people's opinions, when you caught yourself doing that, just pause and reflect on what you're thinking. What you're gonna realize is that you're always caring about other people. You're always just focusing on their opinions on insignificant things, on those little things that don't matter. So always be present and be aware and always reflect on your impressions. When you think something, when you're overthinking, when you're caring about other people's opinions, pause and just ask yourself, does this matter? Do I have to think about these people? Do I have to care? No. So the main point here is to always be present and catch yourself when you're doing these things and cut this thinking out. And also, I want you to remember something. Someday, you are going to die. So when you die, do you want to die without accomplishing things you have ever wanted to accomplish just because you really care too much about other people? No, you only have one life. And today, this moment, right at this moment, this is the moment that you have to work on yourself, that you have to care only about your opinions because someday, you're just going to pass away. Let me close this video with Aristotle's quotes. There's only one way to avoid criticism. Say nothing. Do nothing and be nothing. Thanks for watching. Ciao.